United States scientist, William Douglas Burden landed on Komodo Island, East Nusatengara in 1926. His expedition in the early 20th century was not drought this wife and a number of scientists including Dr. E. R. Dunn, herpetologist or a zoologist who studies reptiles and amphibians. Burden received support from the United States Museum of the Natural History for this research since he first arrived on Komodo Island, Barden was amazed by its natural conditions. In the book, Dragon Lizards of Komodo, an expedition to the lost world of the Dutch East Indies, Burden wrote the experience of living there. June 1926 Bird and all members of the expedition landed in Sewer Bay, Slawi Bay, after months at sea they were finally able to reach the lana they were looking for, camp there, event though only with wood and moven leaves, he managed to set up a temporary residence, for their own food. Is not a problem for them, because there are a lot of deer and a wild buyer there, in large numbers roaming a lot there, even consumption plants are abundant, as someone, who likes hunting the burden is in charge of collecting groceries, aim time while hunting deer, burden met, on Cebuo sloping hill. Filled with grass, the giant reptile walks looking for its prey, an ancient monster in a primitive circle, Anna to make any hunter's heart skip best of it only walk a on its Hindu legs, as I just found out they called a then the picture of a dinosaurus would be complete, said Borden, the first Komodo dragons that Borden saw was estimated to have a length of about 6 to 9 meters, ist yellow tongue. Stuck out in and out many times its big head swung left and right, Borden was surprised by ist fast enough movement for an animal of that size. after observing it more inside, there are visible a number of wounds on its body the researcher suspects that this reptile has not been involved in a fight with each other for a long time, even though it is only observing from a distance, Burden believes that the Komodo dragon is difficult to approach its body color is so black that it gives the impression that the animal is not friendly.